overall energy we have is the Empress in reverse, okay? So someone's not feeling a connection anymore or there's a lack of growth and expansion in a connection, okay? I'm getting more like Aries that you could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but um, this is someone who once probably put in a lot of uh, nurturing and a lot of attention to a connection. But now there's one person who's completely withdrawn back is what I'm getting. Someone's got, someone's just completely taken back their power, I think. More than power, I feel like there is a lack of nurturing of a connection, okay? That's what I'm getting. All right. Okay. All right. What happened in the past? This is the current situation. What's on the person that you're dealing with? What's on their mind? How do they view Aries? Like I said, what's in their deepest emotions? How do they want to move forward with Aries? What's going on behind the scenes? What is the advice for Aries? And the likely outcome. All right. Okay, Aries. What I'm seeing here is in the past here with the nine of pentacles in reverse, right? This is someone who is codependent, could be codependent on you or you could be codependent on someone, okay? But the nine of pentacles in reverse is almost like an energy where I'm getting like a lot of clinginess, a lot of neediness, okay? It's almost someone like, you know, who's like, I don't want to be single, okay? Or I can't be single. I need you. I want you. That's the kind of energy I've been getting in the past, okay? Now, I feel the same person has realized their worth, realized their value, and now they want to stop giving into this connection, they don't really care about you anymore is what I'm getting, okay, Aries? Or Aries, you could, I'm going to read this as you, Aries. I think you're the one who's withdrawn from this person because, again, you could have given and given and given to a point of exhaustion and now it's just left you drained completely. You could have wanted this person to, uh, like, um, you could have wanted this person, like, very badly, all right, is what I'm getting. And which, in turn, because of that, the entire relationship turned uh, into something very codependent. Okay, so you became very codependent on this person. Now, I feel, because you've withdrawn your energies, I think in your current situation with the five of swords here, I feel you're taking back your power. Okay, you're like, no to mind games. You're saying no to any kind of mind fuckery is what I'm getting. What's on this person's mind is that this person's taking a break from you okay there could be a lack of communication between you guys okay there is just dead silence between you guys but this person's thinking but they're not doing anything about it all right how they view you is the emperor so they see you as someone who set healthy boundaries and they see you as someone who's taking control of the entire situation okay for you it's like order and stability okay for you it's like you're taking a very logical approach to the situation which early you probably weren't okay and now you're setting very healthy boundaries and that is just not going very well with the person you're dealing with in their deepest emotions they're watching you they're spying you they're looking at you okay from a distance and probably this person even wants to message you but they're looking at what you're wanting to do, okay? After you stood up for yourself, now this person really has nothing much to say. So if they're keeping quiet and they're not communicating, don't be fooled by this person that this person's not interested in you. They are. They are. They're wanting to talk to you. You probably even will get some message from this person. But this person is definitely keeping an eye on you, okay? You could have walked away from this person again. Yeah. How this person wants to move forward with you is the six of pentacles in reverse. So the only problem is that this person is probably still giving you the bare minimum, okay? How they want to move forward with you. This person is still not ready to give you the entire package or they're just not ready to give you still what they owe you. They're not ready to give you what you deserve is what I'm getting. However, behind the scenes with the king of wands, I feel this person, there's a lot of chemistry between you guys. This person wants to take action. So I'm getting, I'm going to look at why this is how this person wants to move forward with you because they have a lot of chemistry. You know, you guys have a lot of chemistry. They're very fond of you. They're very passionate about you. Okay, they're stalking you. But uh, now that you've walked away and you realize your worth and value, this person is a little doubtful, okay? The six of pentacles in reverse could also mean somewhere where there's a lack of equal give and take, okay? So I think they're doubting this, okay? They're trying to take their time out. They're trying to figure out this connection. Your advice is to be shut down, okay? Your advice is do not be vulnerable to this person. Keep your emotions to yourself, all right? If it's lack of communication, then that's fine. Don't talk right now. Keep to yourself, all right? Try and see things from a more realistic point of view is what I'm getting as your advice, all right? 
the likely outcome between you and the person you're dealing with is the seven of swords in reverse. So this person has been super deceptive with you. Okay. They've been trying to avoid this connection for a very long time. Or you could also be dealing with someone who withholds a lot of information. Okay. That's the deceptive part, deceptive part about them. So yeah, this person's wanting to uh, approach you in a very honest manner. They're feeling very guilty about what they've done and they're wanting to come towards you. So you keep doing what you're doing is what I'm getting. Okay. All right. Let's see. Why is the Empress in reverse as the overall energy? Why is the Empress in reverse as the overall energy for my Aries? Yeah. So with the Three of Cups here, I feel that you're not focusing on this connection, but uh, you're just chilling. You're doing you. Okay. I think this person has friend zoned you and it's almost like I think you're friend zoning them back is what I'm getting. Or it's just that you've stopped giving the, uh, you've stopped giving your attention to this person. You're not investing into this person anymore. You don't really care. And now you're focusing on yourself. You're chilling. You're celebrating. You're having fun with your friends, hanging out. You could even be dating other people or looking at other prospects. But I think with the strength and with the strength here, I think you're holding back from this person. Okay. All right. Why is the five of swords here as the current energy? Why is the five of swords here as the current situation? Someone's stuck in their head. Now that you walked away with the two of swords here, this person's stuck in their head, okay? They're very, very indecisive. It's almost like they're unwilling to see the truth. This person's creating their own trouble. This person's creating their own distress, all right? So with the two of swords here, this person's very, very stuck. They're not making a decision, although they want to, okay? They're thinking about wanting a new beginning with you. But again, now that you've walked away, they're unsure about what the next move is. That's why they're taking you know, their own time and being non-communicative is what I'm getting. What is this two of swords? They need to make a decision. They know they need to make a decision, okay? But it's a tough choice. I think um, it's almost like, you know, this probably every single time you could have given them an ultimatum by saying things on their face. This time, I think you've completely walked away and now this person is in their head. So if they're being very cold and detached towards you, don't be surprised because they're in their thoughts. They're trying to make a decision. Why is the two of swords you? Yeah, with the Hermit in reverse here and the Eight of Swords in reverse, right? This person is definitely coming to their senses, okay? It's almost like they're ready to make a decision and with the Hermit in reverse here, I feel this person could have isolated, they could have ghosted you and now they have like a realization about something and now they're coming back to you to talk to you after contemplating a lot about this situation. They're wanting to come back out. They're wanting to come back to you. They want to return back after that isolation ghosting phase, okay? It's like they've had like a moment to themselves they've uh, had a lot of soul searching it's like that inner knowing that they have and now they know what they want is what i'm doing why is the four of swords here see this person is reevaluating the situation okay with the four of swords and the seven of pentacles here right this person is thinking a lot about the situation they're waiting to see if they should invest into the situation or not okay again i'm telling you if this person has ghosted you, if this person is not communicating with you, do not feel or do not think that this person has someone else in the background or they're not interested. They're very interested, but they're doing a lot of brainstorming is what I'm getting. They're waiting. They're waiting to see if they should invest into this or not. I'm getting that walking away from this, okay? Because you've probably, you probably, you thought this person was constantly playing mind games, okay? And now you have to walk away. They're waiting and watching. I think they're waiting if you can come to them and talk to them. I think they're waiting for you to talk to them. They're waiting to see if they want to invest into this situation. But I think this person is waiting very patiently. And that's one of the reasons also which could have irritated you because you're like, what the fuck? Like, are you done or not? Are you going to talk to me or not? But this person is taking the time. The Seven of Pentacles is very slow progress. Okay, Someone who's waiting very, 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 very patiently. Okay, so that they're going to take the time. They're going to take their time. All right. Why is the emperor here? Why do they view Aries as the emperor? Yeah, with the five of cups, they see you as having someone who, who's having a lot of disappointment. But there could have been an argument between you guys with the knight of swords here. And, uh, but this person is just not being able to walk away. 
someone here is very very invested into the situation and they just cannot walk away it could be you it could be them okay but there's definitely been lashing out that there's just been some conflict or an argument between you guys which has caused which has caused a lot of disappointment and crying over spilt milk okay and because of this situation whatever happened right i think you with the employer you created boundaries okay you made the situation uh, very difficult for them like it's almost like every single time this person kept crossing boundaries okay and now because um you've showed this person how exactly you want to be treated right it's not going very well with them okay we have the empress and the emperor here this is a divine connection okay so yeah but there has been something there has been some disappointment over the situation a huge an element of regret remorse okay but uh, the situation isn't that bad because we still have the two cups left here all right the situation can still be retained all right but i think it's like for you it was very important for you to do this in order for them to realize to stand up okay to boss up okay why is the page of swords here why is the page of swords on their mind i saw this card before they want a brand new beginning with you okay they want a clean slate with you they're watching to see waiting for the right moment to come and approach to you but again with the king of pentacles in reverse here either you're dealing with someone who's non committal or again you're still dealing with someone who's just not ready to commit or even if they're not ready to commit right it's not you it's them because with the six of swords here this person it's almost like this person is someone you know who um they're stuck on their own it has nothing to do with you they know they need to make a huge change in their life they need to they're resisting a change okay there's some huge change that they need to make in their life in order to come towards you with the stability and security but they're just not doing it okay they're not doing it but they want a beginning with you there's a lot of sexual chemistry here there's a lot of passion here okay they want a passionate your beginning here but again they're just watching from a distance because probably it's like you know what they've probably friend zoned you and you're not having it anymore and that's why you're walking away there could be huge communication issues between you guys okay you could be dealing with someone who completely operates from their ego okay all right why is the six of pentacles why is the six of pentacles in reverse here why is the six of pentacles in reverse Give me one card. Why is the six of pentacles in reverse? Still have two cards. All right. This person is extremely, extremely guarded from you. Okay, now this person has huge trust issues. Okay, who are you dealing with? Okay, I'm getting this person has trust issues either because they could have had some uh, relationship issues in the past. Okay, and whatever relationship they had, right, uh, it caused them a lot of pain, and now they're carrying over that excess baggage into this relationship or into this connection. That's why they're very, very guarded towards you. That's why they're very scared of giving in to this relationship. They don't want to open up. They don't want to give. um take i'm not being able to give as much as you're giving into this relationship because they're because they're fearing lacking fearing lack of reciprocity they don't know that if they will put into this relationship they don't know tomorrow that you are going to do the same thing or i just want to walk away or hurt them the way someone else did in the past okay that's why there is a a delay a missed opportunity i'm not getting missed but i think there's a delay in this brand new practical beginning okay that's why there is a delay in this commitment is what i'm getting this person has huge fears in life okay trust issues again a lot of trust issues from the past or within you but i'm getting more like this person has issues with whatever happened in their past relationship okay someone could have hurt them bad and now they're on guard they're very defensive and trying to protect themselves from this so it's like they want to give but i think they want to give so they come and they friend zone you but when it comes to giving you the exact two of cups that's when they stop and that's where they stop at the three three of cups here very close but then they stop at that that's why there is a delay in a commitment here this person feels they can't get this off ground okay they they're doubting themselves if they can make this happen okay what's the king of wands then See, this person wants to take action towards you, right? But with the star in reverse here, I feel that this person is lacking a lot of hope and faith in this connection. 
this person is not being able to wait for the right time this person is not being able to wait for uh, divine timing okay this could be a very destined fated connection but when the star is in reverse right, this is a lot of losing of hope and faith okay that no i cannot make this work out that's exactly we have the ace of pentacles in reverse all right that's why things are not moving forward or things are moving slower than you think uh they should okay there is very delayed progress or this is just very slow progress why is the star in reverse Why is the star in reverse? Give me one card. Why is the star in reverse? Give me one card. Why is the star in reverse? This person has a lot of passion for you. They look at you as someone, uh, you know, like marriage material. They know that you're very stable. You're very secure financially. You got your shit together. You're very good at every in every aspect of your life. But the Queen of Pentacles, I feel that you are being very, very mature right now. Okay, you want something stable, something committed, something solid. Okay, something that holds value. You're dealing with someone who's the Knight of Wands here. Okay, this person is very in and out, in and out of your life. Okay, this person that you're dealing with again, they have, they live in the moment. There is a lot of chemistry here, granted. But again, there's a lack of hope and faith here, okay? So that's why this person probably comes in when they realize that they want things with you, right? But when it comes to the real thing, that's when they start copping out. Yeah. This is this is a very true soulmate connection, okay? With the lovers here, if you believe in that. This is a soulmate connection. They feel this connection, okay? But they know that they need to make a very very significant decision, okay? They make, need to make a very significant choice. And that's when the choice needs to come in. That's when they're not making that, okay? They're not making that decision. It's like they want to have their cake. They want their cake and have it too, something like that. They want to eat the cake and have it too. That's what it was. Yeah, so yeah, you're dealing with someone who's very in and out, okay? So know that that even if this person has a lot of chemistry with you, right? There's still, things are still going to be off balance because again, this person is a knight. That's come and go, come and go, okay? The, the knight of wands has a very bad rep of being like a player. This person may not be a player, but it's their patterns, okay, of um, being there, getting what they want and they leave. And that's draining you out is what I'm getting. It's exhausting you. Your advice is the page of cups in reverse. Why? Why is the page of cups in reverse advice? Drop the load. I think this entire, you're dealing with someone again who's very, very non-committal with the king of pentacles in reverse, okay? And with the justice in reverse, this person knows that they're not being fair to you and you are not being able to tolerate the injustice, okay? This is going to continue till you don't put your foot down. So that's why they're asking you. Your advice is shut down emotionally. Stop offering your emotions to this person. Look at the situation realistically and because it's weighing you down, you need to drop the load. Okay, you need to drop this relationship and let this person go in order for them to realize to give you what you really actually deserve and what they owe you all this while. I mean, they need to know you've given so much all this while. Okay, so they need to realize that you're still not, they're still not being able to give you um, what you need. Why the likely outcome the Seven of Swords in reverse? Why is the seven of swords in reverse of the likely outcome? This person wants a reconciliation with you. This person's returning back and now they want a relationship with you, with the two of cups. This person's realized how badass you are and they realize that you can cut them off if they don't behave themselves. Okay? You did the right thing by putting your boundaries up because there was a lot of disappointment around the situation, okay? You kept crying over spilt milk over and over and over again. This person has trust issues. I'm getting Aries. It has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with their past relationships or whatever happened in the past with them, okay? So don't kill yourself for this. It's not you. It's them. And they need to make those corrections for themselves, okay? So that's what you need to know. And with the Three of Swords here, this person needs a reconciliation. They want to come back to you, okay? They want to heal from this connection. But with the Magician in Reverse here, this person is very, feeling very powerless. They just feel they can't make things happen. 
okay this person is doubting themselves there's a lot of self-doubt ace of pentacles in reverse the magician in reverse okay this is someone who feels they don't have everything that they need to make this relationship work or get this relationship off ground you're dealing with someone who's very very stuck in their ways okay with the hangman in reverse i feel you're dealing with someone who's got a very one-sided perspective okay they lack that view they lack seeing the entire situation from your point of view okay they're only watching things from their point of view they're being very very stubborn and this person could have a tendency of making of sacrificing their happiness just to show how right they are so again you're dealing with someone very very stubborn here okay they're ready to make that sacrifice even though they know you make them very happy but they're ready to let it go temporarily just to show the, just to show you how right they are so that's what i have for you aries i hope this reading resonates leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time Bye -bye.